Hi guys, just thought I'd show you something uh, from my uh, wild camp kit, um, which I've not shown you before, but um, I've had it for a while now. So it's a little um, twig burning stove which doubles up as a barbecue and although I've only got twigs to put out on now, driftwood actually from off the shoreline, um, it, you can actually put small um, logs in it as well. I've had small logs in it before for a campfire. So you get them, uh, the, the, God I, I don't even know what the brand is, I don't think it has a brand, um, but you get them off Amazon. Um, I guess the Chinese made, but there you go. Come in a good bag, uh, quite a strong uh, Hessian type bag, and uh, with a zip. You've probably seen these. I'll put the link up uh, for where I got mine from, if it's still, if they're still selling it. So it comes flat pack, and that's it. And all we do is we open it up like that take out the middle bits and this then moves round to form start forming a cube so I'm going to put it down I've actually uh, put some stones down it, as you'll see in a minute it does catch the ash so it's uh, it's quite good that way but I've put stones down underneath so that when I go there'll be nothing uh, nothing there So you can see the stones I've put down, and that just uh, is just an extra safety uh, safety guard. But um, the first thing I'll put in is the ashtray, which, uh, as you can see there, it's got the two clips either side, and that just hooks into there and there. So it's sitting a good what? four inches four or five inches off the ground and all the ash will go in there and it does because I've tested it uh, I've, I've used it a few times now we then have this uh, little wire um, contraption whatever it's called that just sits on top of the ash tray so basically it, it allows air to get underneath uh, the fire uh, to allow it to burn also, although I'm using, uh, I'm using exactly what it's designed for, which is uh, bits of uh, twigs, wood. This is driftwood. I've actually used barbecue coals in there as well. So you just put some barbecue coals in there. To stop them falling out, you have this little plate. And that just slides like that. That stops anything that's at the bottom from spilling out. And then... Not that I'm going to put it on just yet, but you have. Oops, goes that way. You have then the griddle, which is typical of any sort of barbecue type thing, and um, you know you can <laughs> you can do anything with that. You can boil the water. Boil water. I'm having a steak tonight, so I'll be cooking a steak on this on a frying pan, um, or you can leave it off, and you've just got a campfire. That sits on that, and that's that's it. That's your lot. But it's one of the best bit bit of kits I've uh, bought for wild camping, uh, and I have a little sort of uh, I keep uh, wild camp stuff on the bike permanently. Things like a fire kit just to get us going, which would be some cotton wool soaked in uh, Vaseline and a little bit of dry tinder so that goes in a little bag uh, enough for a few fires anyway and it flat packs it just goes down flat i've got a saw which i've not used yet to be honest it's uh, a handy little thing but um, i've never used it so first use pretty good <laughs> I'll just have a, a camp knife. Do 
yeah so just wanted to show you that as I say been a great bit of kit that for various reasons and I would not travel without it because I've got my gas and I've got the uh, jet boil and I've uh, you know I've got various cooking uh, appliances that I can use but whatever I go with I'll never travel without this now because it's proved so handy so let's get it going see if we can I'm gonna take that off for now So that's my little bundle I don't carry lots of that to be honest I just carry one starter but I do carry enough of that to do multiple cooks and that will set the set set wood on fire of it that burn with the Vaseline it'll burn um, it'll burn for a while should do anyway let's just get that just the winds got up a bit tonight there you go and boy that went quick didn't it so we'll just put some uh, bits of wood on that fingers crossed that's gonna burn and then when it uh, when it's got settled I'll put a little bit more on and then I'm gonna have my uh, steak cooking because I'm hungry
and that's my steak ready. <coughs> I've got a random farmer's dog has turned up and likes my barbecue. Actually, he likes my steak as well, but he isn't getting any more. Hey, you don't get any more, are you? But you're a nice dog, aren't you? Hey, are you a nice dog? Yes. Looks like I've got a friend. 